the absolute value is a distance and specifically it's a distance um, from zero to a number so when you measure distance and you have a ruler and you're measuring uh, here's zero let's say draw a number line right in the middle we have zero so if I go one hop this way or one uh, inch this way or whatever I'm looking at that's distance so here from zero to one the absolute value of one is just one but also if we go the other way yes we refer to this as a negative number because it's below or to the left of zero but the distance is still one hop in terms of distance you can't have less than zero so distance is always positive therefore absolute value is also always positive so it doesn't matter what number we're giving you let's say it's negative two well the absolute value of negative two is just one and then another hop to zero two so every number we have the absolute value is positive and the way we'd write it is with two vertical bars so negative two the absolute value of negative two you could say it's two and what you're saying is it's two away from zero and the absolute value of negative one is also just one because this number is one unit away from zero of course with positive numbers it's the same deal the absolute value of one is also just one because one is one away from zero now uh, when we get an equation and there's multiple operations people often wonder what do we do with the absolute value so here's a pretty typical example something you might see okay so PEMDAS we have this way of keeping track of our op op <laughs> operations where parentheses comes first followed by exponents and roots and then multiplication and division are inverse operations so they have an equal value so to speak and absolute value uh, excuse me addition and subtraction also have an equal value up here at the top though you can also add in the absolute value I think of absolute value almost as a different type of parentheses when I'm looking at an equation and dealing with the order so parentheses come first so I'm going to deal with these absolute value signs after these parentheses 1 plus 2 is 3 is 3 to the second power plus now I treat these absolute value symbols almost like I would treat the parentheses here so what I do is I solve on the inside of the absolute value first so I solve for this operation and I add negative 1 and negative 100 a negative plus a negative is always more negative so in this case it's negative 101 and then I still have these exponents to deal with so now I can break it down um, first I'm going to deal with the absolute value of negative 101 so negative 101 if here's 0 negative 101 might be all the way over here but still if I was to do the hops all the way down to 0 I'd be hopping 101 times so this distance right here is a positive value and this is 101 so we have 3 squared plus 101 2 squared okay so now we have subtraction and addition go from left to right so it's 4 minus 9 plus 101 2 squared gives us 4 that's 2 times 2 3 squared is 3 times 3 or 9 and now we go from left to right because we only have inverse operations so 4 minus 9 is negative 5 plus 101 I think of this as 101 minus 5 which is 96 and that's our answer but going back what I'm saying is to deal with absolute value if you have an operation inside the absolute value symbols what you do is solve the operation on the inside of the absolute value first and then apply in the next step here the absolute value